A knowledge area is an identified area of project management defined by its knowledge requirements and described in terms of its component processes, practices, inputs, tools, and techniques. Sometimes you'll hear it abbreviated as KA or, or COS. Sometimes I usually just say KA or knowledge area. There are 10 knowledge areas in the PMBOK guide, and it is highly recommended that you memorize Table 1-4 on page 25. So what I did when I was studying is, um, you know, you, you're allowed to make copies of this for your own use, for your personal use. So I made a copy of, it was, you know, the, the table, table 1-4, and I kind of took it with me wherever I went. So anytime I had a chance to stop and kind of study it, look at it, you know, if I had a few minutes, I would, I would go and look at this. Um, I actually replicated it myself as, you know, just as a way like in Excel where I could kind of say, okay, what are the different, um, you know, processes that are part of the initiating process group, for example. What are the planning processes? You know, how many are in there? And, you know, which of the, how many processes are part of the project schedule management, for example. So it's a really great way to just see what those are, where they fall within the chart. And then um, this is my very limited version of what that looks like. So the knowledge areas are across the left column. And um, actually, let's do this. So your knowledge areas are here, down along this column, and then your process groups are across here. And so you can kind of see where, where each of them fall. So in project integration management, that actually touches all five process groups. There's, there's a part in initiation, there's one in planning, there are two in executing, two in monitoring and controlling, and one in closing. Incidentally, project integration management is the only one that does uh, cross all five of the process groups. If you see the rest of them, like, chap like uh, scope management, uh, chapter five, touches on planning and monitoring and controlling. Uh, schedule, planning, and monitoring and controlling. Um, cost management, planning, monitoring, controlling. Uh, quality is going to get into planning, executing, and monitoring, and controlling. Um, the same with resource management. You've got um, planning. You've got three of them that are in executing, uh, and then one in the monitoring, controlling. Um, communications, one in each, one in each of the three, and then risk. Uh, again, you've got in planning, executing, monitoring, controlling. Uh, procurement has three different processes, and then stakeholder has four. So you're in initiating, planning, executing, monitoring, controlling. So as you're studying, like I said, memorize, make a copy of, refer to often, page 25. Bookmark it, whatever you need to do. Um, and then kind of go back and, and as you're studying each one, what I did is I would say, okay, I, I studied chapter four. Let me go back and remind myself, you know, where, which process group each of these came in, you know, and, and not just the ITTOs, but also, you know, just the, the actual processes themselves and where they fall within the chart. And that kind of helped me just visualize it a little bit better um, to get that better understanding.